future nobody has seen it right but we can definitely predict future by looking at the current trends but hey there is always something revolutionary which comes by and changes the speed of innovation in any field we call it as general purpose technologies right and given the advent of artificial intelligence in today's era we are going to see a complete 360 degree transformation in the kind of companies which will exist in the next 10 years in the biotech and pharma industry now that is where newer type of biotech companies can come up probably you guys can start and uh, newer ways of treating diseases newer ways of approaching to problems will exist now having said that first let's dive in and check what kind of companies exist in today's biotech and pharma sector now it's very simple now mostly biotech companies the bigger ones are biopharmaceutical companies biopharma companies which are using biotech to treat diseases right like biocon like pfizer you have uh, moderna so these are companies biopharmaceutical companies which are using the pharma biotech ideas and applying it to treat diseases very simple so but if you if you ask me these companies were successful because they could commercialize faster but you can't really call them a hardcore biotech company because there is much more which will happen in the future today's biotech companies are going to be basically you can treat it as a b c d of biotech that's what today's companies are doing but in the future things are going to change and i'm going to highlight and unveil all that to you in today's video now another type of companies which we see today is medical device information companies or medical device companies now even apple is a medical device company so what these companies do is they sell medical devices so basically they develop the uh, device in us or and manufacture in china and sell it across the globe so apple has got apple watch it even if that's a biomedical device you have uh, these pacemakers they are biomedical devices so these are the companies which exist today however this is going to change now today we also see a lot of agri biotech companies of course agri biotech is always going to be there but in fact all these companies will be there but newer type of companies are going to come up let me tell you what type of companies are existing in today's world so agri biotech where we are creating uh, hybrid seeds we are creating pest resistant crops all that is happening in agri biotech uh, sector now let's move on to the next type of company which we have today and those are called as industrial biotech companies now what are industrial biotech companies so they are generating biofuels bioplastic and they are catering back to the industry so that's 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 your industrial biotech companies there are various companies uh, which are into this then you have cro's that is contract research organizations like singin which does a lot of research on behalf of other biotech and pharma companies then you have allied biotech sector which supplies the bio supplies to these sector like chemicals reagent and antibodies and all that stuff so that's uh, you know biotech tools and supplies companies we have and then we also are seeing a bit of uh, personalized medicine regenerative medicine um, companies and then we are also seeing some very rare but nano biotech companies and hardly one or two marine biotech companies we are seeing right like c6 energy now if you ask me will these companies exist in future the answer is yes but newer type of companies are coming going to come up apart from these so it's like you know you go to a hotel and they had a fixed set of menu but suddenly with the advent of artificial intelligence and newer technologies newer type of dishes are there so that's what future biotech companies are going to be now the first thing which comes in the mind is synthetic biology companies companies focus on create engineering biological systems outside the body creating organs outside the body uh, one place i read a research paper where they were planning to have a, to, planning to grow buildings out of you know uh, biotech so you know self sustaining self maintaining self repairing buildings based on synthetic biology then you have bees for pollination so there will be if the farmer wants to pollinate he will he'll have drone bees which can pollinate the uh, so these are synthetic biology applications then you have gene editing companies which you will have of course we are seeing right now uh, you have uh, 
CRISPR therapeutics and editor, editor. So many more of such companies will come up in the future. Gene editing companies are going to be there in the future. First and biggest will be synthetic biology. No doubt about it. This is a very new category. Second will be the gene editing companies. The next will be microbiome companies. So now, as you know, microbiome, our body has got a lot of good bacteria as well as bad, bad bacteria. So we will enhance the good bacteria inside our body and uh, that will further enhance, you know, uh, improve uh, our well-being and our uh, agility so that's microbiome company in fact a lot of fmcg companies are getting into microbiota and uh, that's a great place now a newer category of companies which i am seeing which is coming up is um, your neurotech companies where they are trying to uh, you know bridge the barrier in between a brain and a computer so like right now i have to use a mouse to control the computer in future probably i'll, I'll just control it with my you know brain so brain waves completely synced with my gmail or whatever and i'll be able to do it so that's neurotech companies uh, which wherein uh, you have uh, neuralink and various other companies who are uh, highly successful now now again uh, we are also seeing right now also uh, advent of a lot of digital data health tech data so for example at any point in time in future we'll have real time data of how many people had um, blood glucose level higher than the normal level in real time in India, right? We don't have that right now. So what if we had that kind of data? So that's a digital health companies, which we are seeing coming up and that data will help governments as well as uh, people to take informed decisions about their nutrition, about their lifestyle, about their you know longevity. So of course that is going to be there as a category digital health companies is going to be there then you you see uh, uh, right now also is there but in future it's going to grow and that is cell therapy company so you have car t cells as well as stem cells which can be used in uh, you know treating diseases like cancer so yeah uh, that's one another category of companies which we are going to see in the future we have started seeing it right now also with stemputics in india but more such companies are going to come up in the future now having said that we also are going to see 3d bioprinting based companies now what are three 3d bioprinting you can really print your food you could print your plant you could print your cell or an organ completely and that is going to be an amazing um, growth uh, factor and uh, when it will be linked closely with synthetic biology you will see amazing results so all of this is going to come up in the next 10 to 12 years and that's what is our analysis at Biotechnica. One more thing which we have always talked about is AI based drug discovery company. So uh, right now you have drug discovery, uh, which is happening inside the pharmaceutical companies. And right now they are what they're doing is they are tying up with AI uh, companies. In future, what will happen is these AI companies it's they themselves will become self sustaining and they'll start, you know, discovering molecules. So you will have IT companies really discovering molecules, not pharma companies. And then they'll be outsourcing it to pharma to produce it, right? So probably the pharma companies will become a backyard of developing the, you know, manufacturing the molecule while the IT companies will be developing the molecule. This is a completely new concept, which is going to be seen in the future. Now, having said that, uh, so far I have told you, I think seven or eight type of companies which will come in the future. But then there is going to be environmental factor. Like when we were kids, there was no need of air conditioner. We, we could survive in normal environment. But today with global warming, increasing temperatures, you can see the summers are becoming so hot that majority of the people are going and opting for air, air conditioner. Why? Because environment is getting impacted. So that is where a new company, uh, you know, uh, set of companies will come up that will be clean energy and environmental biotech companies and these companies will focus on bio-based product to improve the environment fix the environment and uh, create a biodegradable um, you know plastics or biodegradable material which will solve the current crisis which we are facing with e-waste as well as bio-waste so that's the ninth one which i wanted to tell you and then the next one is obviously a evergreen field which which, which will see a lot of explosion in terms of your uh, uh, innovation and that will be food tech based companies so food biotech companies will grow and uh, many such companies i know in india are already working on many things like you have the vegan meat like plant-based meat and uh, so that we don't need to kill animals or we, we, we don't need to have grow animals we can just grow the meat in lab and sell it in the market so uh, lab to market 
uh, approach in the these companies will be there so a lot of food biotech based innovation is going to be there so that we can refrigerate we don't need to refrigerate and the food remains as is without even adding preservatives chemical preservatives so all these innovations is going to ha happen so in the next 10 years if we look at these are just 10 broad categories but i'm really excited about how things are going to turn out and why i'm excited is because we now have ai so artificial intelligence is really accelerating all of these fields it is giving me superpowers to individuals as well as professionals and companies to analyze data come up with newer solutions and uh, get ahead of the competition and all the companies are racing right now towards uh, this new game new uh, era and uh, my suggestion to you is if in case you are interested to grow in any of the fields I think bioinformatics is something which you must learn um, so coding for biologist is one we should get into and if you're not interested in computers you can always get into CRISPR or gene editing uh, then uh, you know synthetic biology and these are the areas of the future where growth is less and but it will explode in the next 10 years a lot of investment it will attract now let's look at why you should get into a growing field sooner than anyone else is because you see if i ask you to go into marine biotechn biotechnology that may not grow but if i ask you to get into synthetic bi biology it will grow the reason being it's the same concept which goes into the share market that if a company is small nobody is putting in money you put the money and wait for 30 years if that company grows you your shares grow right the same way when you make a career in synthetic biology and we have a prediction that it is going to grow by you know 2000 percent or i think 20000 percent in the next 10 years then you can be the number one synthetic biologist in the world imagine and that's the kind of growth you can see so i think synthetic biology crispr uh, bioinformatics are the fields of the future which you should invest in and if you ask me i'm super excited to see what you become in the future so comment below what you want to become how can biotechnica help you and what are the goals you have in your career we'll certainly try to help thank you so much for watching this video see you soon on the next one till then keep shining be futuristic all the best.